Imagine you have been given a confidential job from the government and the most anticipated outcome from this is your death. What would you do? Well, the entire cast in the... Well, I'm sorry, it's a long name. Yeah, well, the entire cast in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is doing something different. They are trying to avert their death and complete their mission as well. Gus March Phillips, I have a mission I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What's the plan? To neutralize the German U-boats in the North Atlantic. During the World War II, the British government would use international waters for the transportation of their supplies. But the Nazis' U-boats would destroy their ship entirely in the middle of the ocean. Frustrated with this, Mr. Churchill comes up with a plan and decides to finish off the entire U-boats in single shot. The film is entirely based on this single event only and despite that, it successfully manages to capture our interest throughout the film. Although the action sequences and the suspense feels a bit shaky, the strong performances from the cast cover up for it. The film cast Henry Cavill, Alan Richardson, Eliza Gonzalez, Alex Petifer and so on. And the entire cast has done a wonderful job. Especially Henry. His character is something unusual from the roles he usually plays. But still, he has done a wonderful job. Alan, on the other hand, is doing the same thing he was doing in the region. Fight, fight, fight. The most of the physical action sequences in the film are done by Alan Richardson. Directed by Guy Ritchie, a man who gave some huge hits such as The Gentleman, Sherlock Holmes, UNCLE and so on has disappointed a bit in this film. The film lacks enough anticipation and suspense while building the story. And as a result, it tends to drift away from its main plot and keeps us wandering in the middle. Overall, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is a good one-time watch, but you shouldn't be expecting more action or suspense in this one. That's why Shiva Scope rates this one 6.2 out of 10. The film is currently streaming on Prime Video, so go and watch it as per your convenience. You can also read the detailed review of this film on our blog shivascope.com. So that was my take on the film. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like and also share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, it's your filmmaker Darshan Jaju, signing off. Until next time, stay safe.